today, we're going to talk about hearsay and how it can affect things. So, hearsay is just information gathered from other people that can't quite be substantiated. So, like a rumor. In fact, it is a rumor. Basically what it is. Now, this is something that the furry fandom is well acquainted with, and is highly adept at spreading. So, you all should be familiar. Sometimes those rumors turn out to be true though. And that's horrifying. But other times, those rumors just turn out to be, well, rumors. There's nothing to them. So this is sort of why it's important to talk about hearsay and the effects it could possibly have. So let's do that. Since hearsay needs very little evidence in order to get started, it makes it far too easy to use to destroy the reputation of other people. This is helped out in large part thanks to mob mentality. And we're all pretty painfully aware of what mob mentality can kind of do and accomplish. Especially if hearsay is involved. Just think about elections. Hmm? You know, some of us don't want to. So, with the mob mentality firmly in place, we can start to think of hearsay and rumors, you know, as they are interchangeable, as much more like a bacteria or virus being spread from host to host. That's something. Unfortunately for us, the only inoculation to this particular virus is the truth, and the truth isn't really going to come out on any of these things until it's far too late. The damage will have already been done. So, who wants to hear an example of hearsay that literally changed the course of human history? I mean, I guess you don't have a choice. It's my show. I'm going to talk about it. There was a Roman senator called Cornelius Tatatat. Tat One second. Tacitus. Ah, uh, good. That's how you say that. So there was this senator called Cornelius Tacitus. He wrote the book Germana. In this book, Tacitus described the Germanic people as being descended from an earthbound god. He also described the Germanic people and their traits and their physical attributes, and sort of, kind of gave them sort of an idealistic look, uh, noting that they were, you know, tough people that lived off the land, very humble, you know, very, gave them traits that are very warrior-like in nature. Now, Tacitus did all of this without ever really setting foot in any Germanic lands, as far as any historical record has shown. So he did all of this by hearsay and uh, writings at the time, I believe. So Tacitus wrote all of these things about the Germanic people and the things that he couldn't find from hearsay or from books written at the time, he just made up. It's a good thing that Tacitus' writings didn't inspire one of the most evil organizations to ever goose-step their way across the planet, and by doing so, shakes the very world to its core, killing millions. Because that never happened. Right? Right, guys? So please remember that even though it may seem sort of harmless, Hearsay and rumors can have far-reaching consequences that no one could possibly predict. I mean, it's not like this is a really hard lesson or something that most of you don't even know. It's just think before you speak. Think about who told you this? Do they have any information? 
What evidence do they have? If you consider all of these things, I promise you, you will not end up looking like an idiot. Which is probably what's going to happen if you just believe every rumor that comes down the pipeline. As always remember, Occam's Razor is your friend. Just think about that. Well, that's all I have to say on this subject for right now, but remember, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, I, I guess. Um, if you do, you could win points in a game that nobody is playing. So, yes, do that. Like always, I have some words to leave you with. No single raindrop counts itself responsible for the flood. Bye!